Hello everyone, welcome to Weather, checking in with headlines for your midweek. The Atlantic is tranquil with no storms expected for the next few days. Atmospheric conditions remain unfavorable to prevent tropical cyclone development. And the hurricane season appears to be winding down with two weeks until the Atlantic hurricane season officially ends November 30th. Now at this time, Trinidad and Tobago remains in a moist atmosphere due to southeasterly winds flowing offshore from Guyana and northeast Venezuela towards us. And there's plenty of cirrus cloud aloft too. This thin, wispy cloud of blankets that at the top of the atmosphere. Now the, here in the satellite image shows these thin clouds stretching east of us towards a weak low-level trough where behind heavy and thundery conditions look set to affect Guyana and Suriname. But fair conditions return for us on Friday before a rainy trough arrives by next week. Now back in current conditions, today we've seen light rain, a thunderstorm and occasional moderate showers. Tobago's high was 30.8 degrees Celsius and this evening it is 28 degrees Celsius at Crown Point. In Trinidad, following today's maximum temperature of 31.1 degrees Celsius at Piaco, this evening's temperature is 26 degrees Celsius. Both islands will have a generally fair night. Party cloudy with showers at times and the low chance of a few heavy showers or the odd thunderstorm. Those of you in Tobago can expect a cooler night at 24 degrees Celsius. Overnight Trinidad will be cooler for some of you. Expect a lower minimum temperature of 23 degrees Celsius, possibly cooler in valleys. Tonight generally fair, party cloudy with showers and the odd thunderstorm or heavy shower. Unchanged for Thursday, we'll see sunshine over a few areas as cloudy spells and showers prevail in Tobago. And under the cloudiness, the thermometer may only reach 31 degrees Celsius nationwide. Moist conditions will make for a steamy Thursday, however, because the air temperature of 31 degrees Celsius will feel like 34 degrees Celsius factor in humidity. And in these steamy conditions, there is a 40% medium chance of locally heavy showers or isolated thunderstorms. So beware of gusty winds and street or flash flooding. Checking ahead now to Friday, we've we have a change to end the work week. Clearing skies will lead to generally sunny and breezy conditions with a lower 30 to 40 percent chance of the heavy afternoon shower or thunderstorm for Trinidad. The weekend should be brighter despite a few brisk showers as both islands will enjoy the best of the sunshine on Saturday. Monday should become wet, however, as a trough arrives early next week, so we can make the most of the sunshine this weekend. In the marine forecast now, seas will return to a moderate chop on Thursday with offshore waves of 1.5 to 2 meters with smooth waters below 1 meter in sheltered bays. Now to recap, the second peak of the wet season occurs in November, so remember that the risk of flooding remains high late in the season. So take care.